The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 13th chapter, text number 24, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 23rd, 1973, in Bombay, India. One who understands this philosophy concerning material nature, the living entity, and the interaction of the modes of nature, is sure to attain liberation. He will not take birth here again, regardless of his present position. So, the aim of life is always being stressed by Krishna to stop this process of undergoing different changes of body. Janamitta uh, Janana. Na bhuya vijayati. In many places Krishna has said, Janatyana nivartanti tadhyamo paramangmamo. This is the aim of life. Uh, but people are misled by the uh, blind leaders. We can say rascal leaders, but it may be very strong language. Krishna has said, all persons who are not interested in Krishna consciousness. All such persons have been described as mūrhāg, rascals. Namāṁ duṣṭhita nam mūrhā prapadyanti narāga, narāga. Yes, chastise and use very strong words. Ajasra on the yūni. I I push them in the darkest region of material existence. Actually that is happening. People without God consciousness, without Krishna consciousness, uh, gradually becoming entrapped in ignoring. <coughs> such important light human form of life. Nobody is interested to know about the philosophy of life, value of life. Uh, they have become so frivolous. Uh, and this evening everyone is engaged in childish activities, but nobody is interested the, in the real problem. The real problem of life is stated, na bhuya abhijayati. <coughs> big, big leaders ask them, what is the real problem of life? They do not know. Andhā jatha dhīri puniyama. Nati vidu sārta gatiṁ hi viṣṇu. Durāsaya jīva hirat pramāna. Durasaya, uh, expectation which will never be fulfilled, uh, never be fulfilled. They are trying to adjust things uh, by so called material adjustment, and that will not be that what is said, Durasaya. Asaya means hope, and dura means never to be fulfilled, far, far away. Dura <coughs> Without God consciousness, without stopping the process of birth and death, you cannot be happy. There is not possible. But they have become so foolish. They are thinking that this duration of life, say fifty years, sixty years, uh, that's all. After this, big, big leaders, they say like that, 
that after that uh, there is no life. Everything is finished. Uh, big, big professors, big, big learned scholars, they are of this opinion. Then after that there is no life. Uh, everything is finished. And where from all these different forms of life come, they cannot answer. There are eight million four hundred thousand forms of life. Where from they come? What is the purpose of so many forms of life? What is the purpose of life? What is the distinction between the form of human life and this lower grades of life, higher grades of life? No knowledge. No knowledge. Everyone is ignorant, foolish. Therefore, they have been addressed as mula, uh, mula, all rascals. If we say that this is a civilization of rascals, it is not very strong word. Actually, they are rascals. They do not know the value of life and the problem, a real problem of life. Simply like animals, they are eating, sleeping having sex life and dying. That's all. This is their life. <coughs> so one has to learn. Therefore Krishna says, jaya vang vetri kurusam prakitim. We must learn what is this living entity. That also you do not know. Uh, prakriti, this body is prakriti. And the living force which is within the body, that is purusha. And there are two kinds of purushas, the living entity and the super soul, uh, paramātmā, ātmā and paramātmā. Uh, the ātmā is creating his own field of, his own field of activities. Paramātmā is observing only what you are doing. These things we have already discussed. Upadrashtya, Anubhantya. The Paramatma Purusha is Upadrashtya, overseeing your activities. You want to do something, but without his permission you cannot do it. Upadrashtya, Anubhantya, Chabhartya, uh, he is the maintainer. Uh, so therefore, we uh, must know this is knowledge. Uh, this is knowledge. Uh, this body, uh, khetra, the owner of the body, khetra jnana, and the proprietor of the body, uh, the uh, paramatma. The owner of the body, we have already discussed all these things, we should remember very nicely. That is real knowledge. Jnana, what is the process of knowledge? Amanittam, adambittam, khanti, ajamam, acharyupasanam, bhakti yogam. To know the problems of life, this is knowledge. The aim of life, the aim of life is not to take birth again. So who is understanding of this? Nobody is interested. Simply they are interested in the animalistic way of life. That's all. Just like animals. But Bhagavan, Krishna says, the one should know this. Jai Vanga Bhakti Purusang Prakitincha Gunayandi qualities of the prakriti, sadhagun, rajagun, tamagun, gunai saha. Simply know the earth, water, air, fire. Just like modern scientists, they are trying to understand. Scientific laboratory means they are analytically studying earth, water, air, physical, physical studies, metaphysical, uh, not metaphysical, physical, physical studies. Uh, but they do not know that there are other things of the physical world 
dari si kuno. Tuli kuno bisa ya beda. Listo kuno kembali. How physical changes are taking place. How one physical element is valuable, one physical element is not valuable. Uh, that is uh, due to a different interaction of the modes of material nature. Guna, guna is how. Simply physical elementary study is not sufficient. You must know the guna is how. How the quality are acting. <coughs> जाए मंग व्यक्ति पुरुषां प्रकृतिं च गुणैं सह सर्वथा वर्तमान है इफ यू हैव गॉट सफिशिएंट नॉलेज द नॉलेज इज देयर द भगवत गीता सिंपली यू हैव टू स्टडी यू हैव टू टेक लेसंस फ्रॉम द भगवत गीता फ्रॉम द राइट पर्सन तद विज्ञानार्थं सा गुरु में ही वह भी अच्छे सूतियम ब्रह्मनिष्ठम यू मस्ट लर्न फ्रॉम ए गुरु हु इज एक्चुअली In knowledge of this Vedic literature, Sotriyam, Brahmanistam, and what is the uh, symptom of such knowledge? Brahmanistam, firmly fixed up in Brahma, Brahma iti Paramatma iti Bhagwan iti Sakshati. To know Brahma means to know not only the impersonal Brahma Jyoti, but also Paramatma and Bhagwan. Brahma iti Paramatma iti Bhagwan iti Sakshati. This is knowledge. <clears throat> so such person who has got uh, sufficient knowledge, what is this prakriti material world? What is the purusha, the living entity, who is trying to enjoy this material world? And the paramatma purusha, another purusha, upadrista nuvanta chhvatta bhukta maheshara paramatma ti chapi upto. देह नश्मिन पुरुष और पौरो दोस्त हैव नो नॉलेज दे कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड देर आर टू पुरुषों वन इज अपरो एंड वन इज पौरो अपरो पुरुष इज लिविंग एंटिटी वे इज ट्राइंग टू एंजॉय दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड बट पौरो पुरुष इज दे अनुबंधा Guiding principle or order here. Uh, there are two purushas, <coughs> not one. Uh, one is inferior and other is superior. Uh, superior purusha is the supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna Himself. Ishara sarva bhuta nam ridhi se ojuna kisthe. That is purusha para, anapara. As there are apara prakriti and para prakriti. This material world is apara prakriti, but there is spiritual world also that is called para prakriti. Uh, when there is such a statement in the Veda, Veda that <coughs> the supreme spirit is nirakā or without form, that does not mean he has no form. He has his form, but that is spiritual form, satchidānanda migra. Uh, when it is uh, negativity, that means uh, the negative idea is of this uh, uh, inferior energy. So these things we should know, and if you know, then the result will be sarvatha vartmano pi. Wherever you stay, sarvatha vartmano pi. You are mukta, uh, as it is stated by Rupa Goswami. He has just Hari Das. Stop that. Stop that. He has just Hari Das said, "Karma na manasa vacha, nikile shu abhi avastha shu, jivan mukta sauch." This stage can be attained uh, in the in the bhakti yoga. Bhakti yoga means one who has understood uh, everything very perfectly. Sometimes foolish people say the bhakti yoga is meant for the less intelligent class. 
and he is less intelligent. Uh, unless one is very, very intelligent, he cannot take to Krishna consciousness. That was Chaitanya Chaitanya author says, Krishna je bhaje sevaro chotu. Unless one is very intelligent, he cannot become a devotee of Krishna. Because he knows everything. Uh, that is stated in Bhagavati. Brahma bhuta prasannatma rasochati nakankati samas sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti lavati para. One who is actually devotee, para, para bhakti. He is already Brahma bhuta, liberated. Self-realized, without being self-realized, no can, nobody can attain uh, unalloyed devotional platform. Bhakti means uh, the platform where only liberated person can act. That is bhakti platform. <coughs> Iha is those who are always working for Krishna. Iha, Iha means desire. Just Harir Dasya, just to serve Krishna. He has no other business. Just like these boys and girls who have joined Krishna consciousness movement from Europe and America, they have no other business. Uh, they are simply engaged in executing Krishna consciousness. Iha just Harir Dasya, Karmana by Vati, Manasa. Thinking, karmana manasa, bacha by preaching, karmana manasa, because we have got three things to act. Uh, we can act with our senses, karma. Uh, so karma, the karmis are also working, uh, and the devotees are also working. Uh, but karmis are working, uh, their words and mind is differently engaged. <coughs> because they are working very hard day and night, but they are thinking of manasa, sense gratification. Karmana, manasa, bacha. And they are talking only sense gratification. Therefore, their mind and uh, words are engaged differently. But one whose mind, words, and activities are engaged in the service of the Lord, Iha Jasya Hare Dasya, Karmana Manusa Bhacha. So he may be situated in any position, Jivar Mukta Sahucha, he is liberated. The same thing is confirmed here. Sarpadha Bhattamanopi Nasa Bhuyo Vijayat. Unless he is liberated, how he can stop his next birth? Uh, here it is clearly said, na bhuya obhijayat. Obhijayat means to take birth again, to accept another material body. Uh, that, that unless you become liberated, mukta, you have to accept a material body. Mukti means to stop uh, accepting this material body. That is called mukta to remain in the spiritual body. But they do not know even what is spiritual body, what is material body. Simply like cats and dogs, they are engaged in sense gratification, eating, sleeping, making. Uh, and this Bhagavad Gita is the ABCD, preliminary knowledge of spiritual understanding. Uh, people are unwise uh, and misleaders. They give misinformation, mis uh, uh, mal interpretation. And there, uh, there are so many people that are very much proud. He has read Bhagavad Gita hundred times, but he does not know anything. Uh, he does not know anything. Uh, the, the difficulty is that the instruction of Bhagavad Gita they do not follow. The instruction of Bhagavad Gita is even parampara prapta even rajya sayavidu. One has to learn from the disciples of God. That with the panipatena, paniprasena sivaya, you have to learn from a person by full surrender. Uh, you cannot surrender to a third class man. Uh, 
unless one is very advanced, naturally he will surrender. But this is the process. Unless you are prepared to surrender, surrender means you approach somebody where your intelligence is nothing, therefore you have to surrender. Tadvidhi punipatena, punipasana seva. Seva and daya, there are two words. Seva is offered to the superior person. Seva, service. And daya is offered to an inferior person who is less than you, he requires your mercy, that is doya. But who is superior than you, who requires your service, that is called doya. This is the difference between seva and doya. But people do not know. They are, they are trying uh, to amalgamate doya and seva. Uh, no, doya to the inferior person. Just like a child, he requires your doya. The doya of the parents, mercy of the parents. But the guru, he requires your seva. So you have to approach seva, pranipa, surrender, seva, and then you can question. Uh, don't question unnecessarily, waste your time, where you cannot surrender, where you cannot render your service. This is the problem. Then you can derive some benefit from the realized person. Upadekshanti tadgyanam. Jnanina tattva darsha. Knowledge can be distributed by a person who has seen, uh, what is, who has experienced seeing, seeing and hearing. Uh, these are the sources of gaining experience. So uh, the suti means hearing. And by hearing you will see. Uh, by hearing about God, Krishna, ultimately you will see. Uh, uh, when by hearing, hearing you will develop your Krishna consciousness. Adhu sadhya tatu sadhu sadhya. Hearing is possible by association with devotees. Sadhu sadhya. You cannot hear from the rascals. You have to hear from the superior person, one who is self-realized. So this is the process. But the age is so, Kaliju is so fallen that people have lost all interest to understand the problem of life, how to solve them how to attain to the platform of knowledge, they are not interested. Thank you.